Hey y'all, I'm Mario Martinez Jr., CEO and founder of Vingresso. And I couldn't be more excited here to spend some time talking to you about how to drive more demand and create more sales conversation using the PBC sales method. Follow me, I'll take you in. In today's day and age, everything is all about how to be able to create more sales conversations or drive demand with our buyers. But there's never been a time before where buyer and seller have been more perfectly aligned from a marketplace perspective. And all the things that we are doing are perfectly in sync. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. First off, today's buyer and seller are both digitally connected, socially engaged, mobile attached, and video hungry. These are the four cardinal attributes about today's modern buyer and modern seller. And it's amazing that with this alignment, that so many folks are still yet dissatisfied with their results. Why? Why are they dissatisfied with the results of demand generation and creating more sales conversations? What I wanna to do today is I wanna take you through the anatomy of a great message. And I wanna take you on a journey of how to construct your messaging so that you can reach your target buyer and create those sales conversations that you're looking for. Let me take you through the anatomy of a great post. Now, first off, if you look at a specific message, what is the best type of scenario? Well, the first thing you wanna be thinking about is how to hyper-personalize your messaging. The second thing is the statistics show that if you use 111 words to state the pain and add value, you're going to be able to get greater engagement. Because at about 111 words, that's when people start to drop off in terms of their engagement and specifically reading the message that you sent over to them. And you also wanna make sure that you include a CTA. Now this is the best thing that you could do for yourself when creating a message that's hopefully going to create more demand or more sales conversations. But there is an acceptable minimum, if you would, and that is, when we look at creating a message, if we can't hyper-personalize a message to an individual, we can personalize the message to the buyer persona. And more specifically, I think it's very difficult to create a message in 111 words. So our best practice is somewhere between an 112 and 200, with 150 to 180 words of that message being the most optimal. And specifically, always include a call to action. And you wanna make sure that someone is not going to spend a long time reading through a message, no more than 30 to 60 seconds at most to read through and take a look at your content, your material, your video, whatever it might be. Now this anatomy of a great message can be utilized for any number of purposes. It could be utilized for a social outreach, it could be utilized for an email outreach, or it could be utilized for even a text message and a phone call. Think about how you can personalize to the buyer persona or the individual, use 111 to 200 words, and always include a CTA. Let's break this down, the three different elements of a specific uh, uh, message. The first thing that you wanna be thinking about is um, what does a message include? What should it include? Well, first of all, you've got a, a, a script here that we've created. And this goes into talking about, uh, hey, John, Mario here. The majority of, and you wanna insert your buyer persona here. And this is an example where you'd say, majority of sales leaders that I speak to have two common problems they're trying to solve. Number one, they're trying to create more sales conversations. And number two, they want to increase the sales pipeline. Okay, now we've just established what it is that is the problem that you're trying to solve for for your product or your solution. With that in mind, what do you do next? Now you bring value to that particular buyer. And what you wanna be thinking about is how to create that value is by bringing content. That could be an ebook, a white paper, uh, a, a webinar, a video, whatever it might be. But here's an example of what we've included in a template here. You could say, Directly below are two resources which have helped your peers address these problems. Now, if your buyer continues reading at this point, 
what you're noticing is that the buyer says, yes, yes, I have problem number one. Yes, I have problem number two. And now they're going to continue reading as a result of that. And with that in mind, you want to bring that value. You might say, the first is a blog article, white paper, ebook, infographic, whatever it might be, that answers the question, how to, what to, uh, and in our case, I might use how to leverage video to increase by 40% your buyer engagement rate. Now, that's attractive. The second item you might include would be a webinar, an infographic, something other than what you've already included in the beginning. And with that in mind, you want to be able to showcase another piece of content that addresses the specific challenge in, in, in question. Uh, and so you might be able to also incorporate client testimonial videos as well. And you might say, uh, here's a video, a one minute long video that showcases how such and such company was able to achieve $1 million by socially engaging their sales organization to do whatever it might be, or by helping their sales organization to leverage social, however way you want to phrase that, but include that inside there if you can, including those client testimonials. Now, here's where you go for the call to action. And in that call to action, you're gonna to wanna to suggest a 30 minute meeting where you can share additional insights on how other companies are solving these problems, very specifically. Now, oftentimes I'm asked about the 15 minute meeting. Let me spend some time talking about the 15 minute meeting. Now with the 15 minute meeting, it is extremely difficult to be able to build rapport with your buyer. I believe and I think as a sales leader that we should never ask our buyer to spend 15 minutes with us. At a minimum, it takes me just seven minutes to be able to start building rapport with a specific buyer on that conversation. So ask for 30 minutes because in order for us to do an effective job with understanding pain, problem, solution, application, the things they've done to be able to help solve that problem, it's gonna take us about 30 minutes. So I highly recommend making sure that we don't ask for a 15 minute meeting. Let the buyer know that you're looking to spend 30 minutes. Now, let me take you back in and help you close out the perfect message. Now, once you've told them that you're suggesting a 30 minute meeting, what you wanna make sure is that you identify that you're available on two weeks out at 9 a.m., three weeks out at 1 p.m., and four weeks out at 4 p.m. Why? Well, generally speaking, you're calling on an executive, and an executive is already busy, and their schedule is planned out at least two weeks out. Now, notice how we have inside here two, three, and four weeks out at nine, one, and four. Why? It's very strategic in nature. We want to identify as a seller, when does this buyer potentially take meetings? Morning? mid-afternoon or late afternoon, so that we could possibly understand how to continue to message and engage with this particular buyer. Now, oftentimes I'm asked, can I send a calendar invitation? The answer is yes. Yes, you can send a, a, a calendar link. Excuse me, a calendar link. Can I send a calendar link? The answer is yes. Yes, you can send a calendar link, but this is how you do it. You wanna make sure that you are showcasing respect for the individual and the executive that you're calling on and make sure that you uh, give them three dates and time that they can look for. Don't just send them your calendar link and expect that they're going to, quote, book a call with you. No, you tell them alternatively to avoid email scheduling volleyball, click the link here and feel free to find a time that best matches to your calendar. Now notice here, this says schedule a call with mario.com. This is a great little ninja trick for you, is go out to your GoDaddy or some domain provider and buy the latest and greatest, schedule a call or book a meeting with John Smith. Schedule a call with johnsmith.com. Buy that link and have that forward to your meeting link. This way, wherever you go, whatever company you go to, you've got an actual meeting link that a domain that is tied to a meeting link and all of your customers whoever may use it will follow you along no matter where you go it's a great little trick so go out to your domain provider find book a meeting with insert your name 
schedule a call with insertyourname.com. And with that in mind, you're going to close out the message that says, let me know which option works best for you. You want your buyer, the executive, to be able to say, all right, I'll find three dates and I'll find one of these three dates and times, or I'll schedule a call if neither of these work. And you've made it easy for them to, to do business with you or to potentially engage with you. And then finally close out with, I look forward to speaking to you. Thank you. And insert the prospect's first name. Now, this is the anatomy of the perfect message. You're going to have personalization inside of here. You're going to have personalization inside of here. You're going to have a call, uh, excuse me, value that you're going to bring your buyer, which is through content. And then you're going to have a call to action. And that call to action might be request a meeting. Alternatively, there are a number of other call to actions that you can include. And let me expand on the, call to the, the type of call to actions you can include. So just remember, not every call to action has to be book a meeting. We all want to book those meetings, but a CTA might be simply ask a question to create engagement. For example, using that, the anatomy of a perfect message, I might open with those two elements that usually I speak to leaders that have these two problems. And then I say, those that have had these problems, uh, I've provided this particular content or information, and I close with the question. Can I confirm? Are you challenged by either one of these two problems? Question mark. What am I looking for? I'm looking to create demand to bring that person in and say, yes, yes, I do have a problem creating more sales conversations. Yes, my sales team does have a problem with creating sales pipeline. And therefore, I want to speak to you and I will reply with, yes, I have that problem. And now you can reach back out and say, here are three dates and times at nine, one, and four, or alternatively, here's my meeting link. Now, let me take you back through and close this out. Now, what I just summed up for you all ties right back into the PBC sales method. The anatomy of that great post is structured around this methodology, and that is learn to personalize your messages. In order to create the demand that you want, personalize that particular message. You can either personalize to the individual, you can incorporate uh, company culture, something that they posted, an article they've written, commonalities, mutual connections, or you can personalize to the persona. In the example that I showed you, I was personalizing to the persona. Number two, bring value. You must give value to get something in return. So in order to be able to give value, utilize content, material, blogs, articles, white papers, eBooks, even if your company did not write it, leverage that material and use the content to address the pain, to reinforce your value proposition. And finally, the third element is all around the CTA, the call to action. Remember, most of us wanna go after the meeting, but it's not always the CTA that you want to utilize inside of a message that you're engaging with a prospect to create the demand. You might ask a question to solicit a response, ask for their opinion, invite them to an event, or ask for a meeting. Now that is the PVC sales method, the P for personalize, the V for value, and the C for the call to action. So if you wanna create better demand inside of your sales pipeline, inside your sales organization, leverage the PVC method in both social touch, email, text, and even a phone call. I couldn't be more excited that you joined me today. I wanna to thank you and make sure you go to the pvcsalesmethod.com. There's an entire ebook with the scripts inside there. Just go ahead and go to pvcsalesmethod.com. I'm Mario Martinez, Jr., CEO and founder of Ingresso. And I want to thank you for joining me today. And don't forget, drive that demand.